Ugh, my head. Where... Why am I here instead of the infirmary? When did I... Oh, boy. How are you feeling, Professor Manuela? Sylvain? What do you need at this hour? You don't remember? Well, you collapse in the infirmary, and... That doesn't sound like me. Wait, no, I remember. The truth is, something sad happened. So I did what I always do to forget my troubles. Anyway, I found you passed out on the floor, helped you up, then carried you back here. And what were you doing in the infirmary late at night? Not bringing a girl there, I hope. No, n nope, I was definitely alone. I just, you know, I just had a bad feeling and I decided to look around to see if anyone needed my help. Oh, my poor head. Are you all right? Here, have some water. What a thoughtful young man you are. You're a real gentleman compared to that jerk who just... That good-for-nothing guy who strung you along, whispered sweet nothings in your ear, then shattered your heart beyond repair? I agree. He's a jerk. Oh no. Did I say those things to you? Actually, your version had more details. Very detailed details. Oh dear. You know, Professor, you're a good catch. It's a shame that you've had no luck with men. You need a guy like me. Somebody who sees your beauty and appreciates how tender you are, emotionally, and how much love you have to give. You're a smooth talker, even when you don't mean what you say. I'm going to change, so shoot, okay? Sure, sure, I can take a hint. Rest up, Manuela. Thank you, Sylvain. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Did he just call me Manuela and not Professor? That sly little... Although... Hmm... Me? With Sylvain? Now there's a crazy thought. I must admit that Sylvain is quite handsome. And it doesn't hurt that he's heir to a noble family. I could get used to that kind of life. The age difference bothers me a bit, but I'm sure it would be fine after a few years. At first, it was hard to imagine myself with him, but now that I've thought about it, maybe... Speak of the devil. I think that's him over there. <sighs> what a jerk. He was playing around with me that whole time. You know, you're a good catch. It's a shame that you've had no luck with men. You need a guy like me. Somebody who sees your beauty, and appreciates how tender you are, emotionally, and how much love you have to give. What? No way! What are you saying? I can't even tell if you're being honest. Do I look dishonest? Are these the eyes of a guy who's just playing around? No, I... I suppose not. Would you like to go somewhere a little more quiet? As long as it's just the two of us, and the only subject is love. I'll follow you anywhere. Okay, that was just... repulsive. He is insincerity personified. No way I'd ever fall for that. He is handsome, and does come from good stock. But no, I can't imagine we'd have a bright future together. I suppose the goddess does not give with both hands, does she? <sighs> Wait, could that mean, because of my looks and my singing voice, that I'll never find true love? Please, Goddess, I'm begging you.